Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to do a quick video talking about this clicking noise that uh, is somehow coming from my rear wheel. So I was out on a ride the other day, I kind of took a little bit of a tumble and a crash. Um, and then when I got up and I noticed that this rear wheel, it makes a clicking noise um, about once every revolution and it happens if you're pedaling or if you're not pedaling, if you just happen to be coasting along. So let me come over here and let me see if we can actually hear that clicking noise. Um, and I think the easiest, most quiet way to do this is to pedal this so we don't engage um, kind of any of the ratcheting uh, for the coasting. And let me be quiet, I'll pedal. Do you hear that? It goes click, 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 click. Okay, so that's that clicking noise that you hear. And again, this happens even if you're not pedaling. Let me see if I can just spin the wheel and you can maybe hear the clicking. Let me just go like this and let's see if you can hear the clicking. So again, I think it's a little harder to hear because you've got the ratcheting here with the uh, the, hub, the rear hub. But again, you can hear this clicking and it happens if you're going or not. So I don't think it has anything to do with the drivetrain. I think it has something to do with the wheels. Um, so we're going to see if we can figure out what the issue might be with this clicking. So let me again, I'll, I'll, I'll go this, I'll, I'll pedal this slowly and quietly and you can hear the clicking. All right, okay, so there it is. Let's go see if we can figure out what's causing this. All right, so I put my ear right next to the wheel and pedaled and tried to listen for where it was coming from and I could sort of hear it from this area and after watching for a while, I actually discovered, I think it's my brake rotor. So I think when I crashed, uh, this brake rotor got out of true and actually you can see as I pedal, you can actually, actually it might be easiest to kind of watch this clip right here. You can see this clip move ever so slightly um, when the brake rotor comes around and hits it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Sorry, this is kind of hard to see with the glare. I can't tell if you're able to see this. Let me see if I can zoom this into, uh, there, there it is. Okay, there's a clip. Let me, let me pedal the bike. Sorry, this is probably really hard to see because the whole bike stand is shaking as you go. But long story short, um, maybe it's easier if you watch where the brake rotor goes into the uh, kind of the housing, you'll see that at certain points, um, the brake rotor is, yeah, it's just basically, it's out of true. Um, and I think it's pushing up against the caliper. So that's the issue is this brake rotor, I think got a little bit bent. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to identify which area is bent and then let's go ahead and see if we can true it up. All right, so I've spun this thing around a couple of times and I think I've identified which part of the rotor is um, is bent. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just get some tools and get ready to bend it back. So first thing I'm gonna do is you'll notice I'm actually wearing some uh, latex gloves. So you don't wanna be touching the rotor and you don't because you don't wanna get any oil on this, uh, which will obviously make it uh, slippery. So you wanna keep this uh, nice and clean, this surface. So I'm gonna wear gloves. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab myself a little bit of a Sharpie so I can use this to mark which parts of the rotor need to be bent. And again, I'm gonna make markings on the sections which do not contact the brake pad. Um, and then lastly, uh, I need a tool to basically bend the rotor back out. Now, you can buy dedicated tools for this. There are brake rotor bending tools, but uh, since I'm kind of cheap, I'm just gonna use a crescent wrench, which is going to work just as well by basically, it might not give you a, well, maybe not just as well, it won't give you as good control as you would with a, normal, with a dedicated tool, but really, this isn't rocket science, right? We're just bending a piece of metal. So I'm just gonna use this to uh, do so. So again, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and mark off where the uh, rotor needs to be bent. All right, so now that we've got that marked up, we'll basically just take our crescent wrench. And uh, I did clean the crescent wrench a little bit with some alcohol, just so uh, again, I don't get any grease on this, but I'm just gonna take this and now just basically you're gonna sit here and try to bend this thing back a little bit. And then, check the clearance and uh, basically just repeat this process a bunch until this rotor is nice and true. All right, so I think we've got this a lot better. It's a lot more true. So now if we pedal, I think that clicking noise has actually gone away. So for example, let me just be quiet. I'll pedal this up to a good speed. Yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. So the clicking noise is gone. You could hear ever so slightly that little like tick where it's it, the, the, the rotor is not entirely true. It still rubs ever so slightly against the brake pad, but really uh, that's that's good enough for my purposes. Uh, as long as it's not making that annoying clicking any longer, I think we're good to go. All right, so there you have it. A pretty darn quick and easy way to fix an annoying clicking noise on the back, uh, or actually, I guess for that matter, it could have been on the front of the uh, of your bike wheel. As you saw, it was just a rotor that got knocked out of true, and fixing that was actually just a matter of, you know, throwing on some gloves, getting a crescent wrench, and just rebending that rotor. So, with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprising if you scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button. It really does help me continue making making these videos. And remember, the new videos come out every Monday, so I hope I'll be able to catch you at a future discussion and we can all learn something new together. So until then, I think I'll sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.